Hey guys, this is Florida Boy Stanislav here with a video to show y'all all the plants. Um, I have a new addition to the collection, which you see right here, and this is a plumeria. You see, one tip is dormant. This one's coming out of dormancy, and this one's out of dormancy. But uh, I'm trying. I hope I can try to get it all out of dormancy before it actually gets cold here. But it's a really nice Sunday here, and yeah, the weather's nice, 70s. But I'm just surprised if you look at this uh, wandering Jew. Look at that, completely white. That's pretty amazing to me. But and another thing for you orchid growers, I have to show y'all is this orchid right here, of course. And it's hard to tell if it'll focus. That's a root right there, I know that for a fact. But that, that right there, I'm not sure if that's a root because it's not growing up. I mean, it's not growing, it's not growing down, it seems like. It seems like it's coming up, which I think it's getting ready to bloom. Mexican petunias are looking great. They shot these, this one shot out two blooms. So within maybe sometime late this week, we should get some blooms can see it there they are bananas put a new leaf out rubber plants putting a new leaf out these guys are sending out their final blooms I got the cannas in here to come see you see there they're coming up nicely we got some aloe uh, spreading throughout in there and you see the marigolds and the purple queen flourishing in there and sensitive plant still hasn't the seeds haven't germinated yet but saying in a couple days they they should come up we got some nice bell peppers on the way we got some nice well the cherry tomatoes are slowly now like they're we're starting to get less and less tomatoes each day we're getting 10 not 10 three t cherry tomatoes each day instead of like 15 but it's that end of the year where everything's going to start slowing down. See this hosta I got to rebloom is looking great. And this one. And that's a new bloom down there. And that is. So, let me take you over here to the garden. Because I remember I, I looked back at one of some of my old videos and a lot of the stuff I had was tiny. And now it's just gotten so huge. The corn, as you can see, is, got, is um, I did have, oh, yeah, there's a cob of corn right there. Someone's eating it. Should have harvested that. But you see them there. Oh, they're ready. They're ready to harvest and ready to be popped. But, and then I, a surprise came up when I saw this. I, I remember I planted an onion right here, and it got stepped on and destroyed when we had the Mitsubishi installed, and it came back. So that's a, that's really nice. Yeah, it's a really nice day. Nice breeze. Cannons over there are blooming. This guy's doing really nice. This is that avocado. Look at that. I just love the leaves on here. So there you go, rosemary. We're getting ready to harvest this stuff and dry it for the winter. This hibiscus. Look at that. Look at it's huge. It's gonna get up to the gutters by the end of the season. Elephant ears trying to push a new leaf out. And I got maybe three more bulbs from that. Neighbor gave me some rocks for decoration for the cactus garden. Check out the majesty since we haven't seen it in a while. It's putting a new spear, new frond. Same here too. Asparagus is looking good over there. And the grapes are slowly turning ugly colors. Daylilies have been reblooming. Sunflowers are 
Look at that squirrel. Squirrel over there. Sunflowers. Like blooming. That's not a pretty bloom, but it's a bloom still. That's what that's all I've wanted those sunflowers to do is sit there and bloom. Now I get knocked over. Everything here seems looking great. I just wish I had a nice pot I could put this in that it could just start flowing over. Cause that right there is just cool. I just like that design. The yucca here is doing great. Pochelac is doing great. Sorry for the traffic. Prickly pear is doing great. Sago. It's just I just wish all this could stay. I just wish it could all stay here in the ground and I don't have to worry about taking it out and leaving it for cold weather. Everything here is looking great. This guy has a bunch of new heads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven new heads, I think. Yeah. Fort Sherlock is doing its thing. As you can see, I think church got let out or something. But I'm just waiting for this bad boy right here, this yucca, to bloom at some point. Waiting for the traffic to pass. This guy right here, I think it's blooming. Nope, it will soon. And yeah, that's it for that garden. I did sprinkle a lot of snapdragon seeds and moss rose seeds all over the garden. So hopefully next spring we'll have a lot of that popping up. I transplanted these uh, snapdragons here to see if they could do anything. See here, we always have snapdragons blooming and having a lot of color for the rhododendron since it, it blooms early spring. And there's my faded Florida Gators flag. They're doing good right now. But here's another transplant. So everything's looking great. I'm glad. So thank you for watching. Like and subscribe and there'll be more tour videos and updates like this one. And have a nice day.